this session we will see another question of part 2 for AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam Preparation Course. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the AWS Certificate Exam. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam. So the next use case is In a security-based company, new customer of yours runs a production environment in AWS and they require a log of all API calls made to their Elastic Load Balancer. How can you achieve this as a solution architect? Let's see the options for the given use case. Option A. Enable CloudWatch on the ELB. Option B. Enable Cloud Trail on the ELB. Option C. Enable detailed monitoring on the ELB when first EC2 instance create. Option D. Enable Cloud Audit on the ELB when first EC2 instance create. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option B. Enable Cloud Trail on the ELB. To get the API call trace log here, CloudTrail only can help, so you should enable CloudTrail on the ELB. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam. So the next use case is, Amazon will always have root level SSH access into your EC2 instances. Please give an answer in true or false. Here option is Option A true Option B false Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is false. The answer is false. Amazon will not have root level SSH access to your EC2 instances. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam. So the next use case is, you have a static HTML website that requires inexpensive, highly available hosting solution that scales automatically to meet traffic demands. As a solution architect, what would you suggest which service would best suit this requirement? Let's see the options for the given use case. Option A EC2 with EBS behind auto scaling group with minimum configuration of 2. Option B EC2 with EBS behind auto scaling group with minimum configuration of 1. Option C. S3 Static Website Hosting. Option D. CloudFront. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option C. S3 Static Website Hosting S3 would be the cheapest solution for this requirement. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam. So the next use case is You should expect the same latency and throughput performance as Amazon S3 standard when using standard I. Please give answer in true or false. So the option are Option A true Option B false Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 
1. So the right answer is true. Option A. S3 standard I offers the high durability, throughput, and low latency of Amazon S3 standard. With a low per GB storage price and per GB retrieval fee. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next use case is. You have a website that allows users in third world countries to store their important documents safely and securely online. Internet connectivity in these countries is unreliable. So you implement multi-part uploads to improve the success rate of uploading files. This works well. However, you notice that when an object is not uploaded successfully, incomplete parts of that object are still being stored in S3 and you are still being charged for those objects. What S3 service can you implement to expire incomplete multi-part uploads? So the option are Option A S3 life cycle policies Option B data pipeline with auto delete Option C reduced redundancy Option D cloud watch which trigger lambda function to delete the data Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option A. You can create a life cycle policy that expires incomplete multi-part uploads. Allowing you to save on costs by limiting the time non-completed multi-part uploads are stored. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, what is the durability of S3 IA? So the option are, option A 99%, option B 99.99%, option C 99.9999999999%, option D 95%. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option C. S3 standard IA is designed for the same 99. 9999999999% durability as S3 standard and Amazon Glacier. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, what is the minimum time interval granularity for the data that Amazon CloudWatch receives and aggregates? So the option are, Option A 1 minutes. Option B 30 seconds. Option C 5 minutes. Option D 10 minutes. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option A. The minimum time interval for CloudWatch is 1 minute. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is. You need to automatically migrate objects from one S3 storage class to another based on the age of the data. What S3 service can you use to achieve this? So the option are Option A infrequent access Option B life cycle management Option C reduced redundancy 
Option D. Glacier. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option B. Life Cycle Management. S3 Life Cycle Management provides the ability to define the life cycle of your object with a predefined policy and reduce your cost of storage. You can set life cycle transition policy to automatically migrate Amazon S3 objects to standard infrequent access, standard IA, and or Amazon Glacier based on the age of the data. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, S3 does not support website redirects. Please answer in true-false. So the option are, option A true, option B false. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option B false. S3 does support website redirects. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is. You work for an electric car company that has its front-end website on EC2. Company policy dictates that you must retain a history of all EC2 API calls made on your account for security analysis and operational troubleshooting purposes. What AWS service can assist you with this? So the option are Option A CloudWatch Option B CloudFront Option C CloudTrail Option D Cloud Tracker. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option C Cloud Trail. To receive a history of all EC2 API calls, including VPC and EBS, made on your account. You simply turn on CloudTrail in the AWS Management Console. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.